Yes then, back with another video. And today we've got a new series, for, we've got the trading series, where I'm gonna go through all different types of filters, trading methods, another way for you to basically make coins, don't spend FIFA points, get a better team, and we'll progress through. Today we're covering silver trading. So, to give you a little bit of a run through how this has been working for me, I started off with 9K. You can do this with the smallest budget ever. You just bid through 150 on any major nation, and then you sell for much higher. Pretty simple. Let me run through it. So let me switch over to the game. Right, so we are on currently Thursday the 24th of December. Three days ago we had 9K, now we have 160. And all we have been doing is silver trading and I've spent about five hours max doing this. If I had more time, I'd have more coins. The more time you put in, the more money you get out. So you can do this while watching Netflix, even watching football. You can play another game, have it on in the background on your computer or your laptop. So all you need to do, silvers, 150. I've been using Brazilian, Argentina and English, but all the other methods or countries work. So let's just say England. We search, 150 max price. Someone else is doing it at the minute. So here we go. So try and avoid goalkeepers if you can, because they sell for the minimum amount. And we just go through a bit. While we're bidding on these, if you are new here, why not hit that subscription button, turn on notification bell. Let me know down below if this method's been working for you. I also stream on Twitch Thursday to Sunday. Thursday being rewards. We had elite rewards this week. Not the greatest, I'll be honest. As we all know, red picks are, in, uh, are pretty awful nowadays. Um, and also I went through this method on stream. We made about 60K altogether. So it wasn't too bad for a short amount of time. Skip ahead in the video to when they've sold, show you the method, show you how it works, the best way to look at prices. And we'll be right back. So we are now on the transfer targets. You're more than likely gonna win about 15 out of 20 cards. So you're usually gonna lose about five. If you're super unlucky, you'll not win any of them. The most efficient way to make the most coins is probably bid on many nations as you can. So go English, go through two, three pages, go Brazilian, go through two, three pages, the same of Argentinian, until you've got this up to 50. Once you can't bid anymore, you can't bid anymore. Wait till you see what you've won and what you've lost. And let's just say, for example, so here's what I won, all 150. So some, they sell minimum for 300, maximum 4K if you're super lucky. But for example, this guy I paid 154, sold him for 700. So that's 650 coins before tax or 600 coins more or less after tax, which you're making on a card. So say if you did that 10 times, that's 6K. 100 times, 60K. 100 seems like a really high amount, but as you can see here, these are all one for 150, and you just stock up your transfer list with as many cards as you possibly can, and just continuously relist, relist, relist. When you sold some, so I sold two more, coins have gone up again. Sold in for 500, in for 600, which we just bid on him, brown as an example. So we've lost three cards. So what happens here is you just leave these cards. Let them go for 200, you didn't win them. I will be back in a second once the bids have come through and then I'll show you how to work out the price of a card and how to sell it. Right, so we're back. I cleared off the ones we didn't win and kept some of the ones we have won at the moment. As you can see, we've got two players from the same team here and a left back as well, all from League 3 or sorry league one english three which you think oh i don't need them they won't sell they don't make any coins so we paid 150 for them so we're looking for 300 coins so basically double our coins more or less so 500 here and as you can see 500 is the minimum price so what you want to do is list them up for 400 with the 350 by now I always try and list 100 coins underneath the cheapest, unless the cheapest is 300 and we list for 300. This is because it gives an illusion that this is cheap for what he is on the market. Because when someone compares price, you see one for 500, the rest for 700 or higher. You see the one for 400, you think, oh my God, that's cheap, let me buy it. So you list that up. So we should make a nice tidy 300 coins from that. You see we've won some more, the same guy again, which we'll wait in a second. So let's check Sims. I tried to win that one for 200 and win. So 3,650, 400. So 400 is the cheapest. So in this situation, because it's 400 and I want to make the most possible coins, I'm going to list them for 350. 
Once I clear some things off the transfer list, list them up for 350, 300 minimum, 350 max. So here we go. Let's have a look at how many things we sold. So we even sold the goalkeeper for 450, striker for 350. So the coins are there to be made. Just having patience. So let's go back to Sims quickly and list him up. We're going to list him up for 350. And then again, that seems like the cheapest. So we go back to the transfers, transfer targets. We'll get rid of the ones we didn't win. And let's have a look at someone else. So let's have a look at husband. Husband goes for 550, 500. So that's a 350. So you always got to check at the end for that example, because if we go right at the end, it's 350. So we're not going to get any more than 300 for him. So we're just going to list them up for 300. Wipe our hands of him, as it were. Clean our hands, get him out of the club, get him sold, and he's gone. And you can essentially just do this all day. No problem whatsoever. If you don't sell something, just relist. Don't sell something, just relist. Just list them up for 300. And what you'll notice is it's easier to get cards on marquee matchups because they give you silver supply. Also, on the flip, there's more demand because normally out of one of the requirements, you need a silver team or silver players. So you'll notice that all your cards will sell within minutes when the marquee matchup comes out. Perfect. Objectives come out, those cards go up for more money, which is perfect. But you're looking for minimum of 300 coins sold on each card. So basically, essentially doubling your coins every time. So if you put in 160,000 in, you're going to get 320,000 back eventually after tax. Another guy sold for 400. Let's have a look at the things that didn't sell. So, for example, let's say if I listed something up too much. For him, 1,700 is probably too much. 2,000. So he's 1,200. So let's just list them up for 900. See if that sells. This strike is probably 300 coins. Or 50. So let's stick them up for 400. It's not much change, it's just a little bit of tweaking here and there, which will get the cards out, which is always nice. This guy's way too much for sold some already, I know. 800, so that's 800 coins. Again, if you see, bought all for 700. This one for 700 and get him gone. Ledson, probably 300 or 50. He didn't sell for 400, so I'm just going to leave it because he's still the cheapest. We'll get him out of the club. Cheapest. So we're going to take him out for 400 and then he'll be gone as well. And then we check our sold in a second. So, what do you do now? Now that you've got only one card sold, you've got another card up for 18 minutes is the next one to be sold. What do you do? Well, the trick is here is to just go buy some more. Recycle the coins for it. Let's go Brazilian this time. So, let me run you through my actual process now. So, we get to here. He can come. One. Normally I go like 10 or 15 cards per nation, just to mix it up. How many that is, let's go close. But basically this, this method is impossible to make a loss on, it's impossible. The more, like I said, the more time you put in, the more coins you get back. You can do this on your phone, you can do this on the web app, you can even do it on the console like I am now to show you an example. You can do this while watching Netflix, it's so easy and minimal effort into it whatsoever. So let's say we do that for now, we back out, change the nation, let's just go, let's choose a different one, let's go Portugal. And I've been kicked out of all my team. This will happen, you just have to log back in and do a capture test. Bang. Should be done. 2.5 seconds. Lightning fast. <clears throat> so we sold another thing while that happened. So what else did we sell? Sold Hopkins, who we just literally just got for 300 coins. So we doubled our coins nearly on that one. But the only inconsistent thing about this method is, is one minute you'll win all the bids, and the next one you will win only like a third. It's not a problem. You're still making coins. But as long as you go from multiple nations at the same time and really fill up your transfer target you're getting about 50 cards every 20 minutes more or less and if you imagine you flip them for double the price 
That's what? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15k. 15k every 20 minutes. That's if you only sold them for minimum price. So I'm down 5k at the minute. But we've got 48 things that we bid on for 150. So what's that? 1,500, 3,000, 1,000. Almost 7.5k, which is 61,000 in our total transfer. Plus 70 things selling for a minimum of 300. So we've got about 15k invested at the minute. And we just keep repeating this. So every time we sell one more card or two more cards, we then go buy some more, sell those. It's like a train. Imagine like a, a conveyor belt just going round and round and round, making you the coins. So it's not about making a lot of money on one card. It's about making small money on lots of cards because they all add up much faster than the one sell. He goes for 600. Again, sentiments, sentiments seem to go for more. I think it's because of uh, SPC solutions and etc. like that. So we'll stick him up for 450. And then you just wait. Wait one minute 29 for this. We sold one more thing. Check what we sold. Striker, 400. So what's that? 4, 8, 1,100. Take include tax. Looking at about 700 coins profit here just from these three cards. So imagine we did that another seven times for those prices. We're looking at about 7K we've made just from 10 cards. So 500 coins for this one. And you can see right here the profit's right in front of us. Honestly, the easiest method to start off with, if you're not very confident with trading, you don't understand how market trends work, you don't know what cards work with what cards, this is literally a fail-proof system here. Again, I put a lot of trading tips on Twitter. I also stream a lot Thursday to Sunday with trading, so you've got multiple ways of asking me questions. If you have any questions and you can't access any of those, we do have a Discord. Or you can just comment down below in the video. But I don't think I need to cover this much more. I think I've covered it in every way, shape, or form. You can see how the method works. You can see how the coins work. You see how to list sort of prices. So if you are new here, hit that subscription button. Turn on notification bell so you don't miss another video. We're only seven off from 200 subscribers now, so that's amazing. Um, next one we'll be covering common gold method, and then we'll go into team of the week investments in the further episodes. So if we can hit 15 likes on this video, I will bring out the next episode on Boxing Day, so the day after Christmas Day. As you can see here, let me just build on this one, but it's still making coins. But yeah, so thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one. They say if you live by the cheers and you die by the bulls. Sacrificed everything, I ain't got nothing else to lose. While you've been having home-cooked meals, I've been killing in the booth. All I hear is lies.